Good morning children today we shall learn more about the modifications in the root system we already know that the whole plant can be divided into two parts the underground part or the part that remains under the soil is called the root system and the part that grows above the ground is called the shoot system and the shoot consists of the stem leaves buds flowers fruits etc so now let us see what is the importance of roots we know that the roots absorb the water and the important minerals from the soil and it also anchors the plant firmly in the ground apart from this the important function that the roots perform is that the roots bind the soil particles together hence we can say the roots prevent the soil erosion that is the washing away of the soil particles due to wind rain etc you know apart from these tasks in some plants the roots perform some special tasks let us see what are these one by one in few plants the extra food is stored in the tap root for the future like the carrot beetroot radish turnip etc the food is stored in the form of carbohydrate like sugar starch etc we also eat this roots as vegetable because they are a good source of carbohydrate in some plants the roots help in reproduction like the roots of dahlia asparagus can develop into new plants so we see in certain plants the roots can develop into new plants the dahlia plants stores the excess food in the secondary roots and these get swollen these are called tuberous roots sometimes the plant shoot dies but the tubers remain in the ground then the new shoot may grow from this tuber helping in the multiplication of plant this is a mangrove tree the mango trees grow in water locked soil of the marshy lands that has almost no air so how do they take in oxygen in these trees some branches of the roots grow vertically upward and come out of the ground to get oxygen from the air these are called the respiratory roots and are used for the exchange of gases in some plants few roots come out of the parts of the stem to perform special function these are called aerial roots aerial roots grow above the ground look here these are the roots coming down from the branches of the banyan tree as these roots reach ground they also give support to the huge banyan tree these are called prop roots the prop roots can also be seen in the bamboo sugarcane etc few plants like this dodder plant grow on the other plants you know the dodder plant absorbs the nutrients from the host plant using the special type of roots which grow from their stem these are called the parasitic roots some plants like this black pepper plant have climbing roots these roots help the plants to climb up the support which can be a tree wall etc even the money plant and the beetle plants have climbing roots so remember children in certain plants the roots get modified to perform special functions like the storage of food for example in carrots for the multiplication of plants example dahlia asparagus respiratory roots example mangrove trees prop roots to give extra support for example the banyan tree climbing roots 
to climb up the support for example in money plant then the parasitic roots to take water and nutrients from the host example dodder plant so that was all about the root modifications bye bye children